All right, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the area of rectangles, triangles, and parallelograms, but we're going to look at it in terms of a college entrance exam. What are the type of questions that they're going to ask you in, with air, rectangles, triangles, and parallelograms? And here's your first one. So generally, you know, if you're watching this video, hopefully you understand that area is uh, base times height. That's the formula for area of a rectangle. Um, shapes can go back to that area of a rectangle every time. Just quickly, you know, here's a 3 by 7 rectangle. And you can just count up. You have 21 squares. So that's what it generally is. But what do we do when they don't give you the base and the height? They give you the height and the diagonal of a rectangle, which is generally what they do on a college entrance exam. Well, you've got to use some of the other um, area. So if you maybe you already know how to do this. I mean, pause the video, see if you can get the right answer. But what you'd use in this case, since this is a right triangle here, this bottom one, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to come up with this base here. So it would be 7 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. And you just solve it from there. So 49 plus b squared equals, so this is 169 for 13 squared. And then you just keep solving. So we're going to solve for b, subtract the 49 over, and so, sorry, I'm run, kind of running out of room. So b squared equals 120. And so b is, this. you'd square root that. And here's where uh, college entrance exams, you know, require you to take it to the next level. You know, we can't just take a calculator out and take the square root of 120. Some calculators can do it so that I get an exact answer. But that's what they want is that exact answer. So if you remember breaking these down, so a lot of skills going on in this problem. Um, 12 and 10, uh, 6 and 2, 2 and 5, 3 and 2. Uh, this is how I show people how to break these down. So this would be 2 because that's what paired up. And then 2, 5 and 3 does, doesn't. So my base is 2 square root of 30. So that's the length of the base, exactly. So then your area is base times height. So in our case, it would be 2 root 30 times 7, which would be 14 root 30, and then centimeters squared. So this would be the type of answer that you'd find in the ACT. Now the answer you might see in uh, if you're just doing this with your calculator, um, we knew the base was the square root of 120, so square root 120 equals 10.95 times my height, which I do believe was 7, and so 76.68. Again, that's what, if you're doing this for real and wanted to take a measurement, uh, kind of a rough estimate, I shouldn't say for real, uh, you might need something more accurate than, than 7, you know, 76.68, so you need the exact value, maybe you need 5 decimals of accuracy or 6, you know, whatever, but the ACT and college entrance exams generally want that square root answer, not this approximated answer. So what about parallelograms? So here you, we have a parallelogram. And uh, generally, again, the ACT, or I shouldn't say ACT, but college entrance exams in general, or high school geometry, would do something like this to you. Maybe this is 60 degrees. Um, and they give you this length is 10. And this is 15. And they want the area of that particular parallelogram. And first off, parallelograms are just simply base times height. So here it's A and H. And you can show that pretty easily by just dragging that triangle over. And it shows you that it's just a, a rectangle 
with a base of A and a height of H. So it's the same formula as rectangle. But again, I've added a twist to this. Um, I don't give you the height. Uh, we'll stick that in here. And we have some trig we're going to have to do to get to that height. Now, again, college entrance exams like to use this 60, 30, 90 right triangle. So it's a good thing to put to memory. You could use sine, cosine, tangent also. Uh, but this length is 10, so I'm just taking this triangle right here, pulling it apart. And so there's 60, that's 30. Um, this is 10. And the relationship for 60, 30, 90, and it only works with 60 degree angles, is if you're given this short leg here, this long leg is B root 3, and the hypotenuse here on this side is twice that short leg. So we're given the hypotenuse this time, so to get our short leg here, we'd have to divide that by 2, so this is 5. And then our uh, longer leg is 5 square root of 3, based on this same triangle. So we know the height of this thing is 5 square root of 3. So the area of this parallelogram is 15 times 5 square root of 3, which would be 15 times 5 is 75 square root of 3. And if these were, say, inches, which you hardly ever see, it'd be centimeters or kilometers or something like that, it's going to be inches squared. And so that's the exact answer. And again, that's what the ACT or the college entrance exams are going to give for you. And so... Um, how about triangles? Well, hopefully you understand that uh, triangles are base times height divided by 2. That's for area. That's an, supposed to be an A. apologize. And so we've got, in this case, a uh, pretty common triangle, an equilateral, and we want to find the height or the area of that. So one thing you can do, split that thing in half to get the altitude. The height is always that altitude there. And so this side is 6, this is 12. Um, equilaterals, um, all the angles are 60 degrees, which makes these two 30. So again, this is that 60, 30, 90, making this 6 root 3. But you could have found, that's the height, you could have found the uh, use Pythagorean theorem to get that. Um, 6 squared plus h squared equals 12 squared. I'm not going to go through the mathematics of that, but you could finish that out and find that it is indeed 6 root 3. But again, that 30, 60, 90 triangle, you want to have that memorized because it saves you precious time on these time tests. And so now we can go ahead and calculate the area of this thing. And again, it's 12 for your base, here's your base, times your height, which is 6 root 3, divided by 2, which 12 times 6 divided by 2 is 36 square root of 3, and centimeters squared, or square centimeters. So that's the answer they want on that. So what's the area of this particular triangle? So hit pause and see if you can figure this one out. Okay, the area of this, first off, it's a little trickier because I rearranged the order of it, or the orientation of it, but this piece here is 3, and we need the height of this. If this is your base, this would be your height here, which is also 3, and so the area of this triangle is 3 times 3 divided by 2. Um, 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. You know, units squared. So that's another one I've seen them do on the ACTs or the college entrance exams. They turn it on its side and it's a little harder to think about. Here's another one. Um, how do we find the area of this triangle? Uh, again, try it out. Hit pause. Give it a shot. 
So again, I'm tricking you. Uh, not necessarily tricking you, but you got to be able to find the base. And here's my base in this case. And my height, I'm going to go from here. So there's my, right here's my height, which, so my base, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, five. My height, one, two, three, four. And so the area of this triangle is five times four divided by two or 10 units squared. <laughs> so that's, I'm giving you kind of the oddballs here just to, in, a, in terms of triangles, just so you can stretch your mind a little bit and think outside the box. Okay, so the next, uh, go ahead and hit pause and see if you remember how to do this a problem like this. So here's a rectangle, I give you the diagonal of 13 inches, the height of five inches. Um, what's the area of that? So again, uh, we don't know the base, so we'll use Pythagorean theorem, which would be b squared equals, or sorry, uh, and you might re realize this is a Pythagorean triple, but if you didn't know that, that's okay. You just use Pythagorean theorem. b squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. You finish this up by b squared plus 25 equals 169. Subtract off the 25, b squared equals 144, and then, so that means you root both, and so b is equal to 12. So that's your base, 12. So the area of that rectangle is 60, the entire thing, because 12 times 5 equals 60. So there would be 60 squares, and it would be 60 inches squared. There would be 60 one inch squares inside that entire rectangle. Last one here. Uh, so I've given you this parallelogram. Uh, that bottom left angle is 30 degrees. You've got a side length of 12 centimeters, uh, a base length of 20 centimeters. What's the area of that parallelogram? So again, pause the video, see if you can figure it out. Uh, here we go. So first off, we need this height, which is right here. Again, if you pull that triangle out that's on the left there, this is 12, this is 30, um, this is 90. So that means your height in this case is going to be 6, because this side is 6 root 3. You don't even need that, but just to kind of go through that whole process again to show it to you. So this is 6. And so the area of that thing is 20 times 6, which would be 120 centimeters squared. I missed the zero. <laughs> Excuse me. So the other thing you could think about, too, is if, if you didn't know this and you didn't know the 30, 60, 90, you know, don't, don't fear. There's other ways to do this. Um, so if... You, Let's say we didn't know this, and we want to, we'd put an x there, and we knew this was 30. Well, if you remember your sine cosine tangent, this is opposite. Uh, this is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. Um, so, ka, and then toa, and we want to find the opposite. We're given the hypotenuse. Well, that's the sine one. So sine of 30 equals opposite over hypotenuse, x over 12. Uh, you get your calculator out, or maybe you have this memorized, but sine of 30 is 0.5 equals x over 12. Uh, you solve for x by multiplying both sides by 12, and so x is equal to 6. So that's another way to, to show that it works. So just to show you that trig's in there. So hope this helps you guys. It's kind of advanced in terms of finding the area of rectangles, uh, triangles, and parallelograms, kind of the higher-end problems for those. So best of luck. See you next time.